<coughs> Hello. Um, I'm planning on shooting the Holy Quran. This thing. In this copy too. Uh, pretty soon. Um, with uh, this gun. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. That gun. But I'm not shooting it just to be mean. I'm going to shoot to try to inform. For instance, when I uh, go to shoot the gun, I'll fire and I'll say that's for. I'll say that I'll, I'll, I'll do a demonstration. I'll blast it and I'll say that's for Quran uh, 4 verse 24, which uh, allows Muslims to um, have sex with someone's wife if she's their slave or captured. Because it says, forbidden to you are married women. You can't have sex with married women, except, and that's a key word, making it so you can have sex with married women, except those whom your right hand possess. And I'll just pick it again and pull it back and blam and say, that's for Quran 9, 111, 38 and 39, which threaten Muslims with a painful doom if they don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of a law, which is what Sunni Muslims who join ISIS are trying to do. They're trying to obey those three scriptures. And just pull it back again and go blam and say, that's for Quran uh, 9, 1 through 5, which allows Muslims to break peace treaties, rise up and slay after straight sacred months are passed. And the only thing that stops them from uh, killing the people is when the people become Muslim by uh, pain, by this. If you read it, the only thing that keeps them from being killed is if they become Muslim. And of course, you know, there's Quran 929, which says, uh, tells Muslims to uh, fight uh, people, even if they are persons of the book, who have the previous scriptures, Jews and Christians, until they pay the extortion tax, which is jizya. And under ISIS, such a tax is 85% uh, of what the Christian owns. If he doesn't pay it, he gets killed. So, I'll be doing that sort of thing. The things I won't be talking about are like Quran, um, those scriptures that talk about how the uh, mountains are placed down by Allah instead of pushed up. Uh, won't be talking about um, Quran 96 called the clot, which Muslims are now trying to say doesn't mean the clot. They're trying to say it, uh, first they said it means three things. It means the clot, the, the, the clinging, uh, a suspending thing and uh, the leech and now they're really going for leech but uh, if they were if they knew their hadith it really means clot because Muhammad says uh, then it that means the embryo uh, becomes blood and then it becomes a clot and it's all 40 days as a blood 40 days as a clot 40 days as a morsel of flesh and then the angel comes into the womb and lets the uh, baby know whether or not someday it's going to be in heaven or hell. So it really is clot in spite of them saying, oh, that means lich now, you know what I mean? So anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do. But you know something, in case Allah says B and uh, uh, makes this thing, you know, control since Allah supposedly according to Islam Allah was is so powerful that he was able to uh, create the universe in uh, eight or six days just by saying be yeah you know? so that means Allah could stop me from shooting the Quran with this gun it would like be you know like go up and, and, and blow my head off and so if that ever happens I have in this box <laughs> passwords and email addresses so uh, the video can be uploaded in case I, you know, shot my head off. So anyway, by all those same B. <laughs>
Yeah. A friend gave this box to me, and it was uh, full of uh, lamb condoms. I, I don't know, there just seems something weird about that. Um, natural lamb. I wouldn't want to use these because it'd be like uh, having sex with a, a dead animal to me, you know? Um, I think they come from the intestine of the, like, of the creature, which means like you're kind of like uh, having sex with a, a lamb or, you know, gross. Speaking of which, uh, in according to the um, Muhammad, if you have sex with an animal, you should wash after, yeah, as if you need to be reminded. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. Just as long as you wash, really. Ah, oh well, that's why they're able to, you know, do the things they do with the goats. Yeah. Anyway. Um, So, that's the plan. Shoot the Koran. And, um, hopefully it will go viral. We'll see. Because a lot of people would, uh, uh, start learning about it. In the video, I'd like to also talk about my fellow cyber uh, crusaders, which would be David Wood, uh, Sam Shamoon, uh, Nabil Qureshi, well, I'm praying for because he's got uh, four stage breast, uh, four stage uh, stomach cancer, and uh, I just recently had a cancer scare myself. But yeah, I better. So, wasn't I? Kind of philosophical about. It. I thought, hey, you know, hey, it's not going to stop me from exposing Islam, and also, I'm. Try to bring attention to uh, Christian Prince, aka the Arabian Prophet. That guy is the best at exposing Islam on the internet. He um, he uh, he's a native Arab speaker, and uh, he to me he is the best cyber crusader out there when it comes to exposing Islam. The best. Uh, he's the author of uh, the Deception of Allah. And the Quran in Science and Depth, excellent. But I also like to bring attention to uh, Al Rasuli, uh, Ahmed's Quran Five, Craig Wynn, author of uh, uh, um, Prophet of Doom. <laughs> also, Zakaria Botras, like to bring attention to him also. And um, hey. But anyway, I'm going to try to shoot the quote clear signs, the quote clear signs headed out, as the Quran says. So, should be soon. Uh, what I'd really like to do is get a really cute, sexy girl in a bikini to shoot the Quran. Yeah. Because I know people like to watch that. I think then it would go viral instead of having some middle aged guy doing it, you know. Cute, sexy girl in a bikini shooting the Quran. And with me explaining why, man, if that went viral, people know about the big threat Islam poses. If I do shoot the Quran, I won't be talking about Quran 36, 40 through 43, 40 through 43, which uh, infers how the sun and the moon travel in boats, similar to that of Noah. Won't be talking about how uh, the Quran talks about uh, placing, uh, how Allah places mountains down on the earth instead of pushing them up. Uh, places them down to stabilize the earth to keep the earth from uh, shaking due to it being on the back of a giant fish, a whale, according to Muhammad in uh, uh, Al Tabari Tafsir. And we'll be talking about how Muhammad said uh, that when it comes to embryos, uh, that we go through a uh, 40 day blood clot stage before uh, all the sense an angel that lets you know whether or not you're going to be in hell someday. So, anyway, that's the plan. And, uh, yeah. But still, if I can. I, I really don't want to shoot the crane. I'd rather have some cute girl do it. But And I think I know who would be fine for that. Take care. Bye.